Happy Friday! Hello, hello, it's Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. It's Friday, Friday Sews. Kind of just love catching up and sharing my week with you. And there's a lot of new people running around these vlogs through the Frugal Frocks. If you haven't seen that, that was my last video that I just put out. And um, welcome if you're new. So Friday Sews is the brainchild of Jen from Jen's Sewing Room. And if you haven't seen her channel, go take a look. She's awesome. I'm on the West Coast and she's on the East Coast. She's in Florida. I'm in California. I just love that. It seems like we live in a similar kind of sunshine state. I think ours is called the Golden State. So anyways, hi Jen. And there's almost too many other Friday Sews to mention. So just put the hashtag Friday Sews and you'll see more Friday Sews videos. So it's a little bit of sewing, a little bit of life, just all mixed in together. And so far as it goes with my sewing, I wanted to start with that first. And then I'm gonna show you a couple of things I got in the mail. Mm, very cool but I'm all about I finished this this is the make I talked about last Friday where I did a, a different pocket and a different hood on my hoodie and I love it I could just wear this all the time in fact I want another one immediately so let me just show you a quick picture of that what do you think that was just a great um, I don't know, just a great little twist on uh, something that I was already loving. And I like the light t-shirty knit. It's nice and light so that in these kind of coming in between temperatures that as spring approaches, it's kind of nice to have these in between. I cut the sleeves off so they're nice and just the right length. I mean, this is probably my favorite so far. It's just right. Uh, I might go back and cut the gray sleeves off to match this because it's just so comfy. So that's done and I'm on to my mountain jeans. Oh my gosh, what a journey. First of all, I had to print out the pattern and I did, I did okay with that. I have it here. It's kind of um, a mess because I, I kind of brought it over to show you. So basically I printed the size on the pattern and then I transferred it to my pattern paper. I like to have all my patterns on pattern paper because then when I do my alterations, it's really easy to work with. Sorry, I know that's loud. Um, so the question is, do I tell the truth or skip that part? <laughs> uh, it was a total disaster, my first try at the mountain jeans. So this is my first try, my muslin, if you will, and I totally messed it up. And the jeans turned out great. I mean, they're really cute. Um, you know, I've got this really cute fabric on the inside of my pockets, and I followed the step-by-step -step instructions. It went really well, and um, they didn't fit. And it's all my fault. It's all my bad. Because I'm, you, if you've been watching my channel, I talked about going to a sewing class and learning how to choose the right size based on the finish measurements and blending sizes. I did none of that on this pattern. If I would have just followed my own learning, then I would have got it right the first time, but I didn't. I just measured my waist and I picked the waist size and I made the pants. And turns out when I went backwards and said, why doesn't this fit? And it's just almost too hard to take it up because it's too, too, too big. It's like, you can't just take it a little bit on the sides. It's just messed up. So. I looked at the finished measurements, I measured my hips and my waist, and it turns out my hips and down is two sizes smaller than my waist. So I made these pants way too big, and if I would have made them too tight in the waist, it would have been even better than too tight, too big everywhere else. So I went back to the drawing board and I reprinted it with those two sizes, and I only cut out the waist at the larger size and the rest of the pants at the smaller size. And um, I do believe I'm gonna be able to salvage the green jeans. I'm calling them the green jeans. Does anybody remember Mr. Green Jeans from the Kangaroo? So I'm calling them my green jeans because I just love this fabric. It's just a, a stretchy, but it's nice. I mean, these are gonna be great pants, but I just, I just don't wanna sit there and try to fix them. So I'm gonna start over with my new size and I'm gonna do this stretch denim that I just found at Joann's. Isn't that nice? Look at that stretch. These are gonna be great. And it's funny because they kind of, it's kind of been rolling 
and it just makes me want the bottom to be like a rolled up kind of jean right there wouldn't that be cute so that's my plan with my mountain view jeans so this is an itch to stitch pattern that you purchase a pdf online and I have to say that I absolutely loved it and um, I'm going to have a lot more to say about this. I'll probably do a whole review on it and just let you know all, this, all the pieces, but I really need to get a finished pair before I do that, stuff that I'm happy with. So it's a work in progress. Can we just leave it at that? <laughs> I'm just going to set it aside. Okay enough about the mountain jeans I'm very excited about them I did get a couple of things in the mail and the first one I want to show you is this cute t-shirt look at that it's the heartbeat heart monitor but there's a sewing machine and a heart so I was sharing a funny t-shirt with my mom uh, she's in Texas and I'm in California and um she liked it so much she wanted me to give her the details so she could order it for me and she did and I think it came from Florida but oh my gosh how cute is that and Speaking of my mom in Texas, right now, Texas is going through this horrible freeze. And I was so worried about my mom and um, my parents there. Just, you know, are they going to lose their power and, you know, all of that. So they have not lost their power and it's kind of at the end now. And they have a fireplace and plenty of wood. So they were prepared. Thank goodness. But so many people, it's just awful. It's kind of like... Yeah, we have that kind of weather here, but we're used to it. So, you know, we, we're prepared. Like, we have a generator, and we have lots of wood, and it happens to us all the time. We've been snowed in so many times without power as long as, like, over a week. So, we know what it's like, and we're prepared for it. But they aren't. They weren't prepared. I mean, probably very few people even have a generator. So, I told her, you ought to get one, <laughs> just in case this ever happens again. Okay, back to the mail. Isn't this cute? I wanted to open this with you. So let me get my scissors. Most of you will understand this. These are my paper scissors that never, I, I won't ever touch my fabric scissors to paper. It's just like, come on, let's save those. So this is from the sewing report and she has a video channel on YouTube and I actually really enjoy her channel. And she is um, trying to build a business around her YouTube channel. And I respect that 100%. And so I wanted to support her. I went to her Etsy store and tried to find something to buy. And so it was more of just trying to support her than it is what I really wanted. Although I think I really wanted what I ordered. And now I don't remember what it was. So this is a mystery to me. But it's so nicely packaged. She wrote, do not bend. She has her own little sticker on the back. And I'm going to open it. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, very carefully bubble wrapped. What's this? Magic pins. Oh, some nice pins. And then there's like uh, the pins, but there's also some kind of little flower in there. What's that? Let's open it. It's a pen. <laughs> Jennifer, this is so cute. Uh, I love the little details. I love the pink that goes with her logo. I love the sticker. I love this extra little doodad that I wasn't expecting. And I'm going to try these magic pins because they are comfort grip handles. And I needed some more pins anyways. But this is what I really wanted. Now I remember is an ironing ruler. So you hemming or you're trying to do something accurate you just lay this ruler down and fold the fabric over it. And I'm sure she's got a video on that. So if you haven't seen the sewing report, go take a look. And I love all the attention to detail. So thank you so much for that, Jennifer. And I wish you well. Did you notice the plant behind my sewing machine? I'm trying not to kill it. Oh my gosh. I'm so good at killing plants and I really want this one to survive and so I'm trying to give it a little light and I'm trying to figure out where to put it it's kind of cold and I close this room when I'm not in it and it gets cold in here is that gonna kill it I don't know so I'm hoping I don't I just want to save one plant <laughs> and then go from there I have wanderlust I have you know traveling fever a lot of you might uh, have come to my channel because of my glamper and I really want to go somewhere 
I mean, somebody mentioned they were taking their camper somewhere and I immediately just got the fever. Like, I want to go somewhere. So, I need to plan a trip. I just need to go somewhere. <laughs> I've been in this house a lot. And it's like, the longer I stay here, the more I want to stay here. Isn't that weird? So, you know, I'm looking at more remodeling and redecorating. Hubby's going to make me leave the house just because of that. So, there's that. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend and I look forward to talking to you next Friday and hopefully in between I have a goal to film my sewing room and show it uh, it's pretty complete now I mean I the last time I gave a tour it really was like halfway done compared to what it is now so I'm hoping to have that before next Friday and I definitely want to just sit in here and finish these jeans. I think it's going to be easier to make because I've already made them once and I understand the directions. And so I would love to review that for you and show you what I think about it and, you know, move on to another project. But I'm hoping these jeans are going to be the thing because I do love pants and I don't wear a lot of them because they're not comfy. So this should be really comfy. And that's about it. So I hope you're having a great weekend and I look forward to you going around and seeing as many Friday shows as I can. And I love, love, love to hear from you. So please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, ring the little bell so you'll know when I put out a new video and leave a comment. I love the comments. It's, um, it's hard to find them sometimes. So if I've missed your comment ever, it wasn't because I didn't want to reply. It's because sometimes I just can't find them. They disappear on me. So. I don't know, techie, you know, we all want to be more technical and we all want to know more tech, but it's complicated, right? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.